Hello, everyone. Um, you are speaking with Nancy Schaefer, founder of Missing in America, Missing Persons Recovery Specialist. Um, this page has been revamped for um, another missing person. Um, Christopher is a friend of a friend. Okay, um, I know many of his friends and family has been liking um, the page. First, I want to start by saying how you can really drastically help um, is to please invite your friends to um, like the page. And by doing that, you can go to, on the bottom right, it should say invite friends to like this page. Then all your friends list will come up. If you want, I can do an example. So you guys can get an idea. Some, some of the older people may not know how to use this function. Okay. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to invite your friends to like this page. This is key because the more people that gets to, well, you're gonna see everyone that's liked it on my friends list because I invited all my friends to like the page as well uh, in the process. But let me find one that didn't, I didn't get to yet. Okay, see what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push invite you can just go all the way down your friends list like I am doing. Okay. How this helps is you want friends of friends and friends of friends of friends. Um, and the more people we reach, the better chance of finding uh, Christopher. Now, um, uh, what we were this was actually a request to our president of missing America Lacrice kid um, a friend of hers this is a friend of theirs um, so they asked um, our organization if we would help the family and uh, of course we said absolutely so what I did is I took a page of a page that we had built for another family that the person was found and we just changed the the name in order to um, help the family. I had given um, one of the family member uh, privileges to the page. Okay, now also what's important to people who know Christopher or knows his friends or n anybody who has any information regarding his disappearance, please reach out to the page um, or they can report an anonymous tip to www.missinginamerica.us. Um, what, how, why this is important is for some reason he has lost contact with friends and family. We don't really have a nailed down date to where he was last seen or um, where he was last seen. So this is uh, completely critical. I see that eight people are watching. Um, if whoever's watching, if you guys can just say here, please let me know. If you could please kindly do that because that this might actually be helpful if I have some family members on here that can answer some critical questions and other questions that other people may have regarding Christopher's disappearance. Um, his last known location from what we know is in San Fran, uh, California. Hello, Angie. If you guys are anyone here that are friends or family of his, can you just let us know? So what we need to do is, you know, we have down, uh, and I believe it was in the Berkeley area, which is a rough estimate. So what we want to do is to be able to nail down an exact date and time or place or city or state um, because of the fact, uh, hi Layla, um, Missing America is doing everything we can to assist the family to help find him. Um, 
we're trying to nail down a timeline for him. Um, from what I know, it's um, last um, known location was San Fran, California. Now, the uh, the gentleman's um, mother, actually, I know she's still on this page. Um, she is in California, but her son was recovered in Michigan. And Tony, um, we are still praying for you every day. And uh, we were very, very blessed um, to was able to over the sister family. And I thank you for allowing us to repurpose this page to help another, uh, another boy in California. Um, I kind of wanted even maybe even be in his memory. Um, so uh, his name was Robert King. So what I did is I repurposed the page and just changed the page name again a couple times. Does anyone, um, when was the last time anyone here has seen Christopher? We are, we're working very, very hard. I'm reading your message right now. Okay, a missing persons report was filed on um, November 13, 2016. Um, from what she is saying that um, he had been in the hospital, hold on a second, um, he had been in a hospital with a life-threatening infection and was supposed to say for six weeks of antibiotics left, two and a half weeks to go. Oh, so he, he discharged himself against medical advice. Uh, last contact with him was October 28th. We filed a missing persons report. We believe he's still in San Francisco. We're asking any of his San Francisco friends private message. Myself, Christy, Best. Uh, I'm going to, they can also um, contact the page as well. The family members have access to the page. Um, I want to actually get everyone who wants to have access to the page that is actually trying to find him that's family members. I would be more than happy to give you access to the page. So that way the, um, uh, the tips can go into the page and everyone can see them. We can sort of start a timeline. Does anyone know which hospital he was in? And was it in San Fran? Angie, we appreciate all your help. We need as much as help as we can get. Um, his family is completely um, devastated and is in panic mode because, I mean, I even started working on the case prior to even telling everybody that I did the, redid the page only because when our president says, hey, this is a friend of a friend, we need to move on this quick. So that's what we did. Um, I had sent private messages to every single one of his friends on Facebook. Um, one thing I found um, a little odd, and I'm not judging, but a lot of them accepted the request, saw the poster, and did nothing, absolutely nothing. They didn't respond back, but a lot of them did. Yeah, no, I, I, no, listen, Diana, we're actually, it's not that we replaced all the batteries, and I apologize. Okay, the hospital was UCSF, uh, so I guess that's in San Francisco. Okay. I'm going, the reason why I want all the information is because I want to sort of put a timeline for everybody to see. So that way all the information is there and it's accurate. Um, and it's okay. Unfortunately, the, you know, we're trying to <laughs> resolve the issue. It's been quite some time. Um, but the batteries have been replaced. It's not that. It's something else.
No, Missing in, uh, I don't know, Missing in America has not started a GoFundMe. Missing in America does not start GoFundMe for family members. Um, we are a self-funded organization for 11 years. Um, a lot of the other stuff I'll leave out. Um, unfortunately, due to funding issues, since we don't get, we are raising money to do a 5013C, but we have not reached that yet. So now we're to the point where we can't conduct searches to where we just are helping online and doing stuff over videos and stuff. We're hoping that could be helpful. Um, since we know what has to be done whenever a family member goes missing It's almost like you have to become a private investigator overnight. You, you don't know what to do You know, it's just it's it, it's it's and especially going through the emotional aspect of it um, with family members it is completely it, Trust me it's not something you ever want to have happen to you and if there's I know there's people on here that's not friends or family um, that may have been from the existing case which the mother Tony was um, she lives in California I know she's gonna share this and I know that she um, can attest to our help uh, what's his ex-girlfriend's name Yeah, I'm hoping family members are going to come on and, and, and answer these questions. Okay, I'm going to reach out to her myself. Okay, one, one question I do want answered is if there was a police report filed, then there will be a case number and a detective's name and um, a contact information. I did find his Facebook very easily. We need the contact number for invest uh, for uh, law enforcement. I'm looking for it right now. It's been a long day, guys. I'm sorry. I look like crap. I'm not finding her name. Is she possibly still friends with him on Facebook? I want to get... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Um, one of his friends, let me go back into my messages. I won't say who. Oh, let me go back to him. Find him again. I have so many, I, I must have messaged like the, a thousand people. Um, let me find him. Uh, I gotta go through my messages. Someone said, mm, not that. Bear with me, I have to go through all these and I apologize.
Okay. Now, one of his friends said, uh, that he was always talking about going to, um, Hyatt and uh, Ashbury. And one of his friends is going to be, um, as soon as they take care of some personal business, is going to be hopping on a plane to go find him. Um, he said that it's possible that Zoe Dream to move to Cali. Um, talked about moving to Cali. Uh, I believe. All right. Um, down on height. H A I T in Ashbury. Uh, does anyone know where that is? It's in California. It's a place that he talked about going, one of his friends said. I'll look it up and find it. Uh, yeah, I will. Bear with me one second. Let's see if I can do it this way. <laughs> Sorry guys, that wasn't any fun. Jeez. It's been one of those days. Any of the ones that are watching are in this area and check out, yeah, check out these areas um, and also get some flyers out there. Uh, okay. Yay. Okay. One second. All right, I'm commenting the link right now, but I'll also put it on the top of the um, the live video. I did run a background on him. Background on him. Oh. And I was not able to find anything that would give me any kind of clue uh, to where he is. Does anyone know what kind of infection he had? I'm not intruding. Yeah, I know. Um, that's what I was told. Bailey, look at this. I don't know what that means. Right. Now, I did find his, um, which, that's funny that you say that around the time that he went missing. 
Uh, also, um, my question is, is, does he have a cell phone? October 28th. Does anyone know if he had a cell phone? And if so, what's the number? Listen, if somebody, if one of his friends out there knows he's okay, please contact someone because um, his family just wants to know that he's okay. Um, there is enough circumstantial information to where I think that it's warranted for a missing persons recovery specialist to get involved. So that's what we're doing. So... Yeah. Has anyone contacted him at all? Had any contact with him? And if so, what about the what's the last time you had contact? I know you said October 28th. His last um viewable Facebook post was on October 14th. And do we know when he broke up with um, Billy? Are their relationship ended? She must be the girl in all the pictures. Uh, but, ooh, I just saw something. Where did that go? Just saw something that said October 20th. No, I lost it. Uh... And how else you guys can help is to get the, also take the link of the flyers. I'm actually, I have some personal questions to actually ask the family, but I'm not going to, to do it on live Facebook. Okay, no one with that first name is on his friends list. Can, does, can anyone give me a link to her Facebook if possible? Okay. Thank you very much, Angie. Um... Um, Bill, his ex-girlfriend, Billy, does anyone have the link to her Facebook page? Yeah, he, she's not on his friends list. Thank you. One of my questions is, is when questions. did their relationship end?
even if you're not in California, I still want everyone to share this. I mean, Indiana, Ohio. Trying to grab. Oh, oh, hold on a second. My computer is not cooperating. Oh, okay, Debbie. Thank you. Okay, so, so far, thank you very much, Layla. You're the best. Missing in America has almost 10,000 followers, so, and we do have a lot of people in that area. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm going to share the live feed onto our page. So it'll go live on both pages from what I'm told. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Thank you, Sheena. Am I pronouncing that right, Sheena? Okay. All right, so we're in business. Okay, we got it on both pages, so we have approximately 11,000 people watching. Okay, now the uh, Help Find Robert King's page was repurposed, um, again, from another case to another case, so it's now, I don't know what that was. Okay, so we have last activity was October 4th or 14th. I just lost my place. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like multitasking. Um, Ashley um, Howell um, is a relative, another case we assisted on. Ashley, if you could get this flyer out um, to the other side, um, you know what I mean. Um, if you could do that for me and get it out there, I'd appreciate it because I think that's going to be a factor here and, you know, we appreciate it. <clears throat> um, when his family comes on, just let me know. I don't want this to run too long. Thank you. Um, can you, um, Kathleen, first of all, I want to say thank you for doing that. Um, if you can continue to share the flyer and also, um, I don't know if people know that you can also tag people in it as well. Um, say you share the flyer, you can tag up to like 50 people. I actually um, came across it, so hold on. That's why I'm kind of like being silent for a minute. Bear with me, guys. I actually gave a link to his friends list. His last known location was San Francisco. Thank you guys. Thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, um, we whenever we do a flyer or a page, we always get it. We also um, take the time to get it into all the other missing persons groups um, and pages. Um, or we'll tag them. <clears throat> so we're like deep into the process right now. We've sent all his friends on his Facebook messages um, with his fire letting know he's missing. 
they know anything, please contact us. Please contact his mother. Um, the number that was originally given on the flyer that still stands, but um, we would like the law enforcement contact. And also, if someone doesn't want to know, you know, say he's somewhere and someone doesn't want anyone to know, they can go to our website, which is www.missinginamerica.us um, and submit 100% anonymous tips. His family just wants to know he's okay. Um, he's missing. Um, majority of his friends has, has not seen or heard from him. He was released from a hospital with uh, a life-threatening infection. Um, early, he was left the hospital early from what um, we know. Uh, last contact has been around um, October 28th. Yeah, that's a pretty long time. Um, Another thing I want to recommend too is I want to be reaching out to the press in that area as well um, in San Francisco. I did some Google researches and did some searches. There's like absolutely nothing but the flyer that the family made, which is really, you know, really sad um, and disturbing to me since he might be missing since the end of October. I'm like shaking my head. Um, you know, to be honest with you, um, I really don't know. Um, the president of our organization, one of her friends said, one of my friends are missing, please help this family because the family has not been getting any help at all. Um, so even though we don't really normally do it this way and there's a process, we jumped on it immediately only because he's been missing since possibly the end of October. There's no press releases. There's no even law enforcement contacts, um, there's just like absolutely nothing. It's kind of like, this happens into a lot of cases, like even the last case just we recently just did with uh, Help Find Robert King. Whenever family's not in that area, sometimes it just goes on death's ear. Um, and we are here to make sure that that does not happen <clears throat> at all. It's ridiculous. Um, also, you guys can grab a link to the flyer and send it to your friends individually. Again, um, I want to go over it because a lot of people weren't on. One of the biggest ways you could absolutely help with this page is to, I'm going to switch it over, is invite your friends to like his page. And this is how you do it. This is the way you're going to come up to. Okay, you're gonna scroll down to your right. You're gonna see, invite friends to like this page. The more people we reach, the better chances of finding him. So what you're gonna do is you can scroll down your friends list. I spent a lot of time inviting my friends, so hold on, I gotta find one that I didn't get to yet. Oops. Um, see, and just click invite, invite, invite. This is astronomically helpful. Very, very helpful. Again, the more it's reached. Um, I am going to continue. I'm going to make a few more um, flyers for him as well. Yeah, 10, 28, 16, I think, was the last time he was seen. <sighs> and there's nothing in the presses. I'm going to be reaching out to my press contacts as well um, in California.
Okay, so what we know so, so far, did, did any, was anyone able to get me the date um, him and his girlfriend broke up? If someone did, I, I apologize. I must have missed it. We have a lot of people on right now, so. Thank you. And to his family, they must have given them a phone number or a contact number to law enforcement of where the report was filed. <clears throat> oh, okay. So they broke up on 1028. Is that what you're saying? Tracy, if someone gives a date, can you just be a little more specific? Saying that's the last to see her or that was the last, that's when they broke up. I don't want to be confused. And I don't want to give the information confused. Okay, one thing I want to do is I want to find that out. Okay, so he was last seen on ten twenty eight. I still can't believe this. Nothing, nothing in the press, nothing. Wow. I'm going to try to keep my thoughts to myself with this. Um, I always wind up getting myself in trouble. Okay, um, I'm getting a private message, but I'm not going to say it. Um, can you send me that and the police contact number? <clears throat> Only because that needs to be put on the flyers as well. Um, Tracy, that was just, that link was a suggestion from his friends of an area that he was talking about, always that he talked about wanting to go. Okay, his, okay, his, Albert, you're almost positive his girlfriend talked to him on Halloween. Yeah, we're, we're we are, <laughs> I'm doing everything that I can. I, I am really shocked that this is coming in. He's been missing since possibly the end of October. There's not one press release, nothing even from law enforcement. Well, that's about the change because that's not acceptable. Okay, so what I'm going to ask everyone to do. Hi, Billy. How are you? Oh, so good. So it was a little bit before Halloween. So around the 28th, which is the same. Billy, can you send me a private message into um, the page? Um, I'd like to talk to you if possible. Um... And I want to maintain confidentiality with certain things. I'm not going to be asking personal questions over a live video. Shaking my head. Thank you, Billy. If anyone has any information or possible leads, just please feel free to send them to the page. And any family members that are going to be helping that want to have access to the page, we have no problem giving it to them. Now, Christy Best, um, uh, somehow I'm having a hard time adding her. I don't know if it's because of her profile's private or... Um, y 
Yeah, but I'm responding to the person in the private message. It, there has I have not seen any press release of him being missing or anything from law enforcement. How are they walking on it when they don't even let the public know that he's missing? So that's my point. If people don't know their rights and know what needs to be done and what should be, be do being done, um, this is standard. But then again, there might be stuff done that... Um, no. Um, to the person in private message, I'm aware of that, and that's what I meant about confidentiality. I'm not going to be discussing personal stuff along a, a, a live feed. He's missing. That's all that matters. That's all people need to know. No, I'm not finding that particular police station. Um... Yeah, I, I also, I, <laughs> Diane, I did that as well. I took to see, you know, um, background check shows me all social profiles and stuff. Um, I'm not going to discuss what was in there, but there was no, nothing in there of evidentiary value of social profiles that is not known. <clears throat> Computer is giving me a really hard time. Another recommendation is to is to um, oh one thing that I did find um, that I think that I can make public. He has a catch surfing um, profile, um, which that is um, <laughs> actually with the other case that I just um, did that actually redid to this page had that factor in it as well but it was only active like 10 months ago so it hasn't even been active so it doesn't matter and uh, if the family member needs that profile i'll be uh, more than happy to provide it to one of his family members this is unlike him Do not have any contact with his friends and family and if any of his friends um, have seen him and what date um, please let us know because we're trying to narrow down a timeline because if I remember if if I got the information correctly that most of the family is in Indiana and he was out in uh, San Francisco California There is a phone number attached to, uh, yes, I believe so. There's a phone number also attached um, to his family members. Um, under each post, um, does anyone know if this is, um, which family member is this phone number? If anyone has any information um, regarding his whereabouts, um, he, you can contact his family, which is 513-535-8889. Um, and if anyone um, contacts you regarding me, um, uh, please let me know, like the last case, because um, I can almost guarantee it's going to happen.
Gotta love the haters. Okay. Even if, even if, um, and I'm sure that the people that are the family members that's going to have access to the page, um, will be agreeable to this. Um, but, um, any, you know, uh, anonymous, um, stuff being sent into his page will be remain a hundred percent anonymous. Um, some of the family members are going to have access to the page, of course. Because uh, we redid the page from another person's page for them to help them along since this has been the way it has been. I'm surprised no other missing organization has um, attempted to help you guys. And now that my organization is involved, I can guarantee you're going to get lots of them. And solicitations to hire a private investigator. My um, suggestion is... Um, do not go through any organization that solicits private investigators. Yeah. One thing you might want to consider is the um, homeless community. Um, but, you know, we're going to dress, we are going to be dressing all those avenues. If anyone can help out with flyers in that area, please also contact the page. I want to get a, um, yeah. Um, I want to get a, the page out to, um, I want to get a flyer made tomorrow um, for him to where people can print it out and um, put them in places that he normally used to regular and around uh, the San Fran area and the Berkeley area. Um, that's it just it's important for me to have all the information another thing I noticed too and one thing that I checked by law um, I'm just going to recheck again um, he's been missing since the end of October and he's not entered into name us okay this is crucial it's law enforcement's job to enter um, any miss missing person into name us which is a national database for missing people um, it's a very awesome um, database. That's why I'm kind of asking for this particular information. Because I can actually do it for law enforcement and get him entered. But I'm, I'm going to double check to make sure they just didn't just do it. <clears throat> And if it hasn't been done, I want to know why. I'm going to send the link. Like I said, if I get the information that's needed, I can... I can get him in. Now, he's not entered in the national database, which is um, the missing persons. Hold on a second. Let me get this. It's called nameus.gov. And I bet you the family didn't know that either. So this is a national database. Um, okay. Oh, okay. To the person who's private messaging me. Okay. 
Um, I shared it on the other page, on our other page. We have a page missing in America. Like right now, there's currently 64 people watching. Our YouTube channel gets uh, about 10,000 as well. Um, but this particular video, uh, uh, live video, I'm not going to be putting on my YouTube channel. This is just to get as much information regarding... Um, it, Albert, I am trying to... We're taking, we're taking a case that someone's been missing since the end of October that we don't know any information. We're trying to get the information. We don't even know what law enforcement has done. There's been no press release. They have been not entered into name us. I mean, just like what is really being done with this case? I'm very disturbed by it, to be honest with you. The end of October, really? I mean, I can suspect why, but that's not acceptable to me. I'm going to make a contact with NamUs. They are incredible people and very worthy people. Very worthy people. And see about getting him entered. I have a username, but I'm entered. getting the information from family now, like police report number, who's in charge. So I'm gonna get the ball rolling. Uh, well, another another one of my questions too, if they didn't put him in name, name us, did they even enter him into NCIC? If that's the case, um, Kurt, if he's not entered in NCIC, the answer is no, he could be. He could be sitting up there in the hospital somewhere as a John Doe. Unreal. Um, oh, never mind. I have his date of birth from the background check. Um, I'm going to contact one of my connections and see if he's even entered in NCIC. Yeah, they did file a name report. Um, uh, name Us is a database that matches missing people with unidentified people. It's almost like a national database um, for people who are missing. So when an unidentified person is found or a person is found, they can either match them via dentals or um, uh, DNA, um, a lot of different ways that they could use to identify someone um, if you just be careful when you look at the database, if you go under the unidentified, there is um, disturbing content that you may not want to see, but they have the missing side, which lists everyone who's missing in the United States. Um, and then there's the unidentified side for people who maybe even have lost contact with a family member or they were homeless. Um, it's a great program. Um, and it, it solved even like a lot of older cases. I mean, these older cases that's been sitting there since the 70s, people have actually been identified through this program. It's a, it's a very good program and uh, we support it 100%. Yes, there was a um, missing persons report filed. Um, we have the case number now. I mean, I have the case number now So um, I'm actually going to do the work uh, law enforcement probably should have been doing, but lots of cases, they are overloaded with cases, and that's why they have organizations like ours. Um, but the fact that this is, um, we have 82 people watching now. The fact that this has been since, possibly since the end of, um, October to where he was last seen. Um, he did have, supposedly have a life-threatening infection. Supposed to be in the hospital for six weeks. 
um, signed himself out two weeks early. Um, I just really need, I'm not going to base my opinions of what I think about this case um, like I normally do. Basically, what I want to do is I want to get as much information as possible so I can assist the family as, as however I, I, we can. Um, one of the biggest ways is to um, create this page so that way everything we, we are, we are Kevin, we're doing everything we can. Um, I'm putting this, to our, we have been working overtime, um, day and night. If you noticed, if he asked his friends on his Facebook page what time I was sending messages, that was up 4 o'clock in the morning. So we are doing whatever we can. We are working very hard. Very, very hard. Yeah, no, I saw that um, October 4th, but that that's premature. Um, the, you have to bear with me. I have to try to try it. To, um, charge my phone while we're doing a live because I've been on for such a long time yeah we're looking more for the end of October his couch surfing um, profile has not been active in 10 months um, but I'm going to still keep an eye on that but I will not be giving that to anybody but family if they want the profile link But basically what I want uh, to accomplish right now is to get as much information. If you are in California, please, please share his flyer. Um, I'm going to be creating a, a flyer for everyone to maybe hand them out or pin them up in little delis and stuff in that area. Um, if anyone's willing to assist with this, if I can get you the flyer, um, please private message the page. And we will also um, download a PDF on the page in order for people to share the flyer as well. One of the main concerns with this case is not much has been done and the families looks like they've had to be left to fend for themselves and that's really sad because um i've been doing this a long time and i've seen the pain and the suffering in the family's faces in the four o'clock in the morning phone calls crying um they can't sleep they have to almost become private detectives and do the own work themselves and it is it's completely excruciating um it, it it becomes very hard on me to be able to see and hear that um, because uh, I do have empathy. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't do what we do. Our organization has been self-funded for 11 years. Um, so that being said, um, it, it, it's, it's gets easy, it gets easier seeing as many people that are willing to help out. And uh, I appreciate that, guys. Kevin, what you can do is uh, Missing America is going to be creating a flyer for you guys um, with all the information. What I need is I need his height, his weight, date last seen. I have the case number now. Um, I, I'm i sorry. No, no, Billy. Nobody thinks that. Did I miss something? All right, thank you, Diana. Um, uh, I kind of wish um, that you would put links to um, some things might be sensitive that maybe put them in the private message to the family instead of um, maybe out in public like that but we do appreciate you finding that 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 did not come up 
Okay, what we need to do, Billy, is we need to get a flyer. The first, the, one of the biggest part of is getting this page set up. Um, and that was one of the first steps. Um, we need to share it. Thank you, Kurt. Um, we need to share it. Get the flyer out there. Um, invite your friends to like the page. Oh, okay. Not seeing anything coming through. Okay. I right, just bear with me one second, guys. Kurt, what you sent me was very blurry. I can't make it out. Poop. Um... Okay. Okay. Also, if one of his friends um, has talked to him via cell phone, text message, um, Facebook, any other social profiles, this could really, really help us nail down the timeline. So... Um, you can confidentially send those. Um, just take a screenshot and send them into the page, um, please. Yeah, see, now that Missing in America is coming on, our very good friends from Missing Pieces Network um, which is another very awesome organization um, that we um, share each other's flyers and we assist each other is offering also to make some flyers. Um, okay, Carlos, thank you very much. I really much, I appreciate that. And I know his family does too. Um, we need to get this out in the San Fran area and the Berkeley area. Um, and then when you're... When you're done with the flyer, I have to get you a lot of information, Carlos, because nothing's been done on this case whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to have to get you the information. I'll be happy to do that in order to get the flyer up. We need to flood that area. And, Carlos, I, I want you to... No, 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 I, I am. I'll... You know what? Um, private, private message the page your phone number. Um, or your email address, and I'll, I'll familiarize you with this case. Like I said, this was just dropped in my uh, lap like a day or so ago. So I'm going aggressively with it, um, which it needs to be done aggressively. Yeah, um, just send me just send me your contact information, and I'll give you a call. So that way I can transfer the information to you so that way you guys can get a flyer up there too. They have a very, very large reach, guys. Um, next is hopefully Save the Next Girl is going to be jumping on here um, as well. I'm hoping, even though it's male, they're still doing it. They're, you know, they're sweethearts. No, I can't. Uh, um, the screenshot that you sent me. Um, it was hard to read. I guess I don't need to. Yeah, it's Christopher is missing. Um, just so the family knows, um, Carlos is going to be reaching out to you guys from Missing Pieces. Um, we can start a three-way chat, Carlos, if you want to send or however you want to do it. Um, 
I can send them your profile so that way the information could be sent to you as well. They're going to get a flyer out there for you guys as well and I thank you guys for that. A very reputable um, organization. I told you as soon as I got involved they're all going to come now. Um, because what's important, there's certain organizations that work together and certain of them won't. And these are ones that do and that they're there for the right reasons. Alright. Okay, we got 80 people on now. Oh, wow. Thank you, Sheena. San from area. Um, listen, Sheena, if I was to get you some flyers, um, Missing Pieces is also going to be making uh, some flyers. Um, they have a large reach as well as ours, as well as we do, um, especially Save the Next Girl. Um, I'm going to be reaching out to them next. If not, they'll probably be <laughs> reaching out to me. Um, he's 26. Tracy. Okay, so far I can determine, and I can't say how, that the last day that he was seen so far is October 29th. Um, Carlos, I hope, you, are you still watching? Yeah, he just disappeared. That's okay. No, I... <laughs> thank you. That's a big... Uh... <laughs> okay, no. Uh, I'm sorry. No, not I'm not 26. He is 26. I appreciate it, though. No, he's 26, Carlos. Um... I'm going to send you a private message. I don't want to have this combo on the thread. Um, certain information that we want to just want to make sure. Hi, Kevin. Uh, does Christopher have a driver's license? Do you know? Or did he own a vehicle? You're very welcome. Uh, Missing Pieces has also jumped in now. Um, we network with them a lot um, to assist your family as well. We're going to get you a bunch of organizations now. No car, no driver's license? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think we should put flyers anywhere. I mean, he's got Indiana Connections, Ohio. Absolutely. He had a state ID. Okay. And I know certain things, but I'm not going to be saying them over live feed or being checked to see when they were last used. So that's a good thing. We're getting, we're going to get somewhere. Um, also, Carlos from Missing Pieces. Um, yeah, my question is, did he have a cell phone as well? Okay, Carlos, so, so far, um, he does not have a driver's license, he does not own a vehicle, and he did have a state ID. That could be made public. His cell phone has been turned off. Do you know when it was turned off? Okay, Carlos. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the the stuff that's needed confidentially. But how fast do you think if I get this information to you, can you get a flyer up? I have to uh, work on my tower um, in order to do my um, to do the flyer. It's having some technical difficulties.
Okay, thank you, Carlos. I'm actually looking for your profile right now. Ah. Uh, Yeah, I'm PMing you right now, Carlos. I just so you know, Carlos, I'm still waiting for information as well. Um, I'm going to actually start the process tomorrow to get him entered into Namus. Okay, basically, I have the case number. Um, the cell phone has been turned off, Diana. Um, we need law enforcement's contact number. Um, you know, they, you know, like the phone number you call and talk to the detective that's working on the case. We need that number. Um, I believe I have the case number now, which thank you very much, guys. Um, we're trying to figure out when exactly the last day he was seen. Uh, right now, I think I have the timeline that I can prove is October 29th. Okay, uh, Kelly. 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 Uh, first of all, um, I don't want personal, you know, there's certain people here will be very judgmental of people. And just so you know that what you're speaking about, because I don't even want to say he was found innocent of that. Okay. Just so you know, that was a false charge. Um, I don't know if you know that, but. You can put the, Christy, you can put the phone number there. And also, I want to be able to try to give you access to the page. Um, I did send you a private message um, asking you to please friend request me. Yeah. You know, I you know the reason why, listen, the reason why is because when people are coming, I private message Christy. And said to please send me a friend request. That's the only way I can add you to the page, unfortunately. And then as soon as I can do that, then I can disconnect from it. Yeah, no, I know, but th this is th this is a situation. When people say stuff like that and they don't know all the facts, they're people that don't know him, friends or family, are going to be judging him. And the family members are going to be tormented by it. But I did want you to know that I was aware of that. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to bring it up. But he was found innocent. So um, um, that's not even an issue. And September is prior to October. So... All right, guys. Yeah, there's nothing... Uh, all right, thank you, Billy. Christy, if you can please send my personal profile. Um, a friend request. Because when I go to yours... I'm not able to do that.
Okay, guys, when you share it, make sure you use hashtags. Thank you, Christy. Um, I started using, and I started the um, Finding Christopher, which is catchy. Anyone that's willing to hand out flyers um, in their area, just just either um, send the page a message um, to let us know that you'd be willing to go around and do flyers. Any of his friends that have private messages from his Facebook um, that maybe he had messaged in what day, can you please send me a screenshot? So far, we have um, October 29th, I can say, is okay. Uh, hashtag, hashtags are something that you sort of make, you know, um, it's what makes something go viral or gets people interested or even if they want to find information about this case. Um, bear with me one sec. Any information that the family wants people to know, um, Please, um, please let me know, uh, or let them know underneath this thread because everybody's seeing this and I can read it. Okay, the missing person I spoke with, the person I spoke with, with the missing persons unit was Sergeant Creed. Um, it's f uh, Carlos, um, Sergeant Creed, missing persons unit. Um, Contact number 415-553-9123. Carlos, I'm going to work on getting him entered in NamUs in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Kurt. Exactly. Yep. I'll show you which, I'll, I'll copy and paste on the top of the video which ones I've been using for him so far that I started. And it's important to stay consistent. Also, um, Carlos, to make sure that um, anonymous tips go on the flyer um, to www.missingamerica.us. That is uh, that is something I'm going to insist on. Because if I have to get on a plane and go out there, I will. I right, bear with me one second. I have the hashtags in the information. Hold on. You guys gotta bear with me. It's been a long day. Okay. So. I am uh, upgrading his level to at risk um, based off of the information, which I can do that. And I will make law enforcement aware of that as well. Um, Carlos, he is going to be considered at risk um, and I will um, give you the confidential reasons why um, in um, 
when you call me in the morning. Okay, I have added You guys want me to add it in the comment section or above the video I'm just gonna add it above the video is that okay so that way you guys can just copy and paste it so anytime you share the post um, or share a flyer regardless of which organization made you just copy and paste the um, hashtags hmm We need people that are willing to get out there and um, start doing some flyers. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I updated the hashtag should be there. All right, Kurt, thank you. Yeah, um, let me ask you a question. That's, you know, that, you know, to be honest with you, that's quite common. Um, when, uh, does he have any family members out in California? I'm in, um, I'm in Kentucky, uh, Kevin. In Louisville. I'm originally from New Jersey. I'm out here working on some stuff. I know I've said this more than once, but what's important is is more people that jumped on. Um, one way to really, really rapidly get this page out there. Okay, his sister, and what's his sister's name? And where in, in California is she? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so again, we're going to go through on big way of moving this and moving it quick. Um, and I don't care if you have to harass all your friends. Okay. Um, you're going to go to the page, right? And you're going to go scroll down. You're going to see something that says invite friends to like this page. All your friends are going to pop up like you're seeing all my friends. Okay, which I've already, in, I've been doing the invite. You do click, uh invite that's lynn pollen she is involved with leo which law enforcement only very good friends of mine uh, okay sorry about that
Hmm. Question. Does anyone know if he had any um, train cards or I uh, have to find out what's going out there in California as far as transportation with someone who doesn't have a license or a vehicle? <clears throat> um, there's maybe a program or... Uh... Also, um, I know I have a bunch of pictures, but since I'm going to get him entered into NamUs tomorrow morning um, after I speak with law enforcement, um, which um, photos would you like me to send to um, for them to use for his uh, national database profile? I would um, I would suggest using more than one. Um, I would even give like four or five. Um, also, one of his tattoo is very critical. Um, I know it shows that there is a tattoo on the lower part of his leg. Does anyone know if he has any other tattoos that's not visible in the pictures? Um, I don't know about that, Blake, because I have an iPhone and I can do it right from my phone. You shouldn't, um, you, they, it's probably in a different area. I don't know what kind of phone you have, but, um, you would take the bus a lot. Do you know if he had any kind of like, um, they have any kind of state program cards or something you would use to, or, you know, you would fill up or a way we can track his movements if he, what buses? On his back right shoulder. Um, can you send me a description of that tattoo, um, Billy? In the, um, into the page, please. And, uh, do you know how old it is? Um, what's, Brandy, what's a bar? I don't know, I'm confused. Brandy is saying bar and Billy is saying buses. Oh my God. Okay, then What's going to be important is um, getting flyers around on every bus, every train station in that area. Um, if anyone knows of any homeless camps, um, one thing that is a theory, since I know a lot about medical, um, he was in the hospital just recently um, for a life-threatening um, infection. And sometimes people become not become aware of their surroundings or even who they are depending on how sick they get 
especially not the pen. I don't, I have to find out which kind of infection that he had or maybe even worse. But um, we want to keep this positive and we want to keep hope. Um, it's very possible um, that he might need more help than, than that, that the homeless area camps, stuff like that should be um, definitely checked into. Okay, bar is a rapid transport. Is that a bus, Kurt? Oh, okay, that's okay, Blake. That's important. I mean, it, we've gotten so, we've gotten far. We know a lot of information now, so that's a good thing. No one needs to be sorry. It's, uh,. It's late, I know. And I appreciate it. I don't, there's probably a time difference except for the people in Indiana. Now our page is missing in America as well. If people need to, yes, buses do have the cameras. You're absolutely right. Yeah, Krusty, you're absolutely right. Um, there might be medical reasons why, um, if he is in a homeless area, uh, so we need to find him. Okay. Um, if you, since we got to do the work here, if you guys can start can, uh, putting together a spreadsheet of all hospitals, unfortunately, I don't have San Fran. I, I usually um, keep all my information from my other cases. San Fran is not one that I have. So um, what we need to do is we can need to compile a database or Excel, Excel spreadsheet of all hospitals, homeless services, um, anything that you can think of that a person would go to for help. Um, rehabs, anything. I mean, anything's possible. Um, just, we need to look into everything. All right. I'm going to be putting a link of our page, Missing in America, up here as well. If if you need to send, just so that way I can just see something that, you know, maybe you don't want no one else to see or might be upsetting to someone else. You can send the uh, tips to our page as well, which we have his f picture um as the profile our president is friends with one of his friends and uh, we put this case on uh, high alert um, and is going to be working on this 24 7 until he's found so um, also like our page we might be giving some information out of that as well but at least now the family has a page and a little bit of direction of where they need to go and that's important to us Again, if anyone is contacted regarding me or my organization, um, please screenshot the information and send it to me. I appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate everybody watching um, and your time today. Even if you're not friends or family of the person who's missing, I want to let you know that I appreciate everybody and I appreciate your time. And this is extremely hard. Um, 
to go through, um, but uh, I think this is positive. We're moving forward and we're getting somewhere. He has a page now. We're gonna get him entered in the national database. We're gonna get flyers. Missing Pieces is gonna get flyers together. Um, so we're good. Um, we're gonna, we're getting somewhere. I appreciate you, everyone here. I thank you very much, Christy. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna be going, but um, for tonight, um, I have a lot of work ahead of me in the morning. So if anyone has anything important to say, um, please still feel free to send them into the page at any time. Um, I can check them in the morning. If anyone knows where um, he is, please, please say something. Again, you can contact our Missing in America page on Facebook, 100% anonymous. Your name, the information will not be given. We just want to know that he's okay um, because, yes, and where he was last seen in what well so far Teresa what I think I have nailed it down by certain things which I can't say um certain convos so far I have it to about all uh, um the 29th at uh my computer's having problems guys I'm so sorry Yeah, right before Halloween. He's 26, Ashley. Yes, 26. Does anyone else have any uh, questions? This family is devastated. And I've seen it. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They can't. And from what I've seen, he's been missing since the end of October. Um, nothing has really been done. They don't know what to do. They really, really need your help. People, um, if you have also confidential information, if you have access to background checks like I do and social profiles, please don't put them in a link. Some of the stuff could be sensitive or you might not know the whole information you know just please send them into the page out of out of respect to the family that's all i'm asking i'm asking everybody to please pull together let's get the flyers out let's get the page out let's get i, I want at least four thousand likes on this page um by the by early probably in the next two days um, and we can do this. We can help this family because you know what if it was your kid you would want the help as well And I know a lot of these people on the page are very very kind caring. I have We're almost like at 10,000 followers um, Friends followers and fans. That's what I call them and they are just like majority of them are an army of people that just that are willing to help Um and I guarantee you, guarantee, guarantee you, um, a majority of the people on our page, on our Missing in America page, I guarantee you, by tomorrow, we're going to have an army to find this boy. We need to bring Christopher home. And if anyone that's willing to assist, um, especially in the California area, I think we should probably put our, our radars out a little bit further um, with flyers and stuff like that, please let us know. Um, um, I We pride ourselves in, on being religious, um, so I'm, I want everyone to bow their heads. Um, dear Father, uh, we ask of you this day um, that you show us the way and uh, let Christopher find his way home to his family. And if anybody has any for one, any, any, any information at all, please, Lord, have them touch their hearts to uh, send the information to put this family's fear to rest. Lord, we ask that you keep Christopher safe. 
um, and that you guide him home, that you protect his family, and that you touch their heart. We ask that you console them in this horrible time of what they're going through. Um, this it's a it's a test. We just ask, Lord, that you you really, really, really shower them with your Holy Spirit. In God's name, amen. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Um, we're going to be back on tomorrow. I got a lot of work ahead of me. Um, we're going to get the flyers done. Missing Pieces is going to get some stuff out. And I know I'm recapping. I don't know who's just coming on. Um, please, um, I, I want to thank the members of Missing in America um, for everything that you guys are doing to assist also with helping us and getting this out there. Invite your friends to like the plate. Share, share, share his flyer. If anyone has any information, I promise you, website, www.missinginamerica.us, 100% anonymous. You don't need to talk to a phone. You don't need to give your email. You don't give nothing, just, your, just the missing person's name and the tip, that's it. Missing in America's um, Facebook page, you can send in 100% anonymous tips, even though we will know who you are. Your name will not be given whatsoever. We keep our amenity. Um, second is, um, you can also freely, if any of his friends has seen um, him or maybe has a private message that can help us narrow down the, the timeline a little bit, um, it could be extremely helpful. So if you can send screenshots into the page, we would appreciate it as well. Thank you guys very much for your help. Um, also, take the link to the flyer. Get them on the news stations, Facebooks. Plaster it everywhere. Um, we also have his flyer as the main profile picture on Missing in America. And it's going to stay there until he's brought home. Thank you guys. Um, thank you guys very much for sharing. And if anyone has any information, um, I will be able to respond back to your messages in the morning. You guys are very welcome. Thank you.